Hey guys, what's up? This is Evil Post here, and today I'm gonna do a TCG Boundless reaction video for the to September 2017. Now, as most of you guys might have known by now, the TCG Boundless was leaked out yesterday, and the list is effective immediately from the day that it was released. So, yes, guys, you guys don't need to wait a week as usual. You guys need to play with the new balance as of yesterday, effective immediately. So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna do my reaction video on the TCG balance for September 2017. And to be honest, I kind of like it, and also I also don't kind of like it. And you'll see why. Now for the bank guys, there are five or six of them. Now the first card is Dynamon Knight, the true Draco fighter. Now all. The OTG has this card currently limited, but the TCG here they decided to just straight up ban it, and I kind of see the reason why because out of the monsters, the Trudy Drago can utilize. I think Dynamonite is the best one because um, it is the biggest monster, and it gets a trap, which is the Probably the best card utility that True Draco can have because it had Dr True Draco Apocalypse and True King Return from for well, the trap and Dynamo Knight can just like straight out grab it from the deck. So and Apocalypse and basically both both of the traps can interrupt your opponent's actions during their turn. Let alone let you summon Master Base during, during your opponent's turn while popping a monster on their side of the board. So, yeah, that's really, really good. So, that's why there's this little. The TCG here just straight up kill Dynamonite. And I kind of see the reason why. Because I just said it. But Dynamonite is a really, really good card. Yep, because it gets traps and it it just you drop masterpiece straight away from your opponent's turn. That's really really good. Now the next card is Grand Soil. Obviously they banned this card because of the FTK loop, and that FTK loop is really really hard to stop because once it stops going, it is is really really hard to stop, and they're just gonna keep on looping you until they. Either burn you down with Gaga Kaba or banish your entire deck with uh, Phantom Bird, the, the rank 9 that uh, banishes the top card of your deck face down. Yeah, that one. That actually is a rank 9. That one. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why this is just a ban Grand Slayer because TCG really do not like FDK loops. Yep. Now the next card is Lithogasm. Now this is this is the card that I'm really really upset about because um uh out of the True Kings I like Lithogasm the most because it has the best effect out of all the True Kings because you summon it and if the monster that you used to summon it were two Earths you got to look at your op opponent's extra deck and ban it's three which has a Kind of a Ghost Reaper effect, but Little Gizem is better because it has bigger attack and is really really hard to stop because they cannot pop it in Charles or effect failure on, on the effect because the effect of Little Gizem it resolves on the summon. So yeah, they can. That's why you cannot even pop it in Charles or or effect failure. No, this card getting banned. Do I agree with it? Um, yes and no. Yes. I agree with, with this card getting banned because um tricking dinosaurs really abuses this card to the fullest because you reveal this pop two baby dinosaurs from your hand, summon this card, you trigger both of the baby's effects, and you banish three cards from your opponent's extra deck. Really, really good. It's easy combos and easy pluses for days. Now I'm upset because like I said, this is my favorite true king card out of all the true kings. Yes, and on top of it all, Dinosaur did not just lose Lithogasm, but they also lost Dengong. Yep, Dengong. Now, I can kinda see why Dengong is getting 
Dan because um Dan a lot of the Uzi Yangtze has the best best effect because you summon this you search a Yangtze card from your deck probably you're gonna get a nine pillars and then you move a worm from your deck and this card becomes that level and if this card leaves up here you special summon a Yangtze from your deck and this card is a tuner. So yeah, out of the way, this card has the best utility, so I can see why the TCG straight up banned this card. Now, did it deserve getting banned? Absolutely not, because the OCG had this card at 1. Yep, and TCG here, they just straight up, you know, started to kill the card, because they really do not want shooting dinosaurs, like, being played in the TCG like any longer, because the deck lost Little Gyasam and Denglong, which are two of the most explosive cards that the, the deck can make and play through their combos. So yeah, uh, Tricking Dinosaurs, I think they lost all of their power from, from here on out. Now, the next three cards that are banned in the list is obviously for Zodiacs, and that's Bravo, Dryden, and Dagastro Emerald. Now, I kind of disagree. Dagastro I'm not getting banned here because I sort of do. This card is also good in rogue, other rogue decks. But main reason why Dukos Emma is, is getting banned because Zodiacs abuse the card really, really well. So yeah, this is just straight up ban Dukos Emerald. So yeah, those are for the ban. Now for the now for the limited. Before I get there, Maxi and Imperial Order. There. Uh, still very legal to play in the TCG, which makes me really really mad and Zodiac Barrage and Dragonic Diagram, they are still at 3 Yep, then Unlimited or Ban, they are still very much at 3 Now, on the Limited section uh, Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior is limited uh, I think I kinda see why they limit this card because Draco, the Dynamonite is getting banned here. They really do not want to Draco to survive in, here in the CCG. So, in order to to achieve that, they ban Dynamonite and limit Ignis Heat. I mean, I remember the two, in Dynamonite is the best one, but the Ignis Heat in grabbing traps like Heritage and Disciples and all that, they are not as powerful compared to the traps, but they really want to have the consistency and speed up the deck, so that's why they decided to ban Dynamonite and limit Ignis Heat. So, do I agree with uh, Ignis Heat getting limited here? Kind of. But the spells themselves do not really give you that, that much advantage compared to the trap because they uh, interrupt your opponent's actions on their turn. So yeah, but Heritage is a good card guys. It's a, it's a part of greed. So yeah, and and resolving it is, is really good. Now, uh, Maxi is still at one like I said. Now, Miscellanosaurus is limited here. Why? Why? They ban Little Gyasam and Dengong and the top and the top all of this up. They also limit Mr. Lenosaurus. It's a common car from Raising Tempest. Why do they limit this guy? Do I understand the reasoning behind it? I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me this. Because I do I don't I don't see any of the reasons why this is a limited car. Like I don't know why. Wow. Well, uh, Judic Rap here is limited here, so I guess you can just normal summon this gun and then send Ram Ram or combo, and that's pretty much all the deck does. Yeah, Judiac Broad is still at 3, but Bravo is banned, Dragon is banned, and on top of it, Rap here is limited, so is the deck playable? Uh, it, it, it still is kind of playable, but is it explosive as before? Hell no, absolutely not. Because the dude just like too too much the 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 deck lags much over the utility cards because um Bravo is a utility card, Dryden was a utility card, Dex Emerald was definitely a utility card, and all of those th three cards are gone. And also Jordy Rapier is, is that is that one here. So 
What does a what can the deck do? I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure some people will still find ways to play this deck because the OTG still plays the deck over there, even the Barrage, Bravo, and Trident is been over there in the OCG. So I, I'm pretty sure people yet in the TCG will figure out a way to play play Zeus. I'm that much is pretty much guaranteed. Now the next card is Dark Hole is limited. Um, they really do not want Boros over here because um because um here in the TCG, TCG we had. Oh, before we had Regaki, two Dark Holes and two Kaiju Slumbers, and from those cards, Dark Hole and Slumber is limited here in the TCG now. Now, I, I understand the reason why Slumber is getting limited, because Slumber is just, is busted, like, but I don't really see the reason why Dark Hole is limited. I mean, why put the card to two and then limit the card again? That kind of doesn't balance out. I honestly thought Dark Hole is, is going to 3 this list, but nope, it's limited here. I don't see the reason why did they did this. And Book of Moon is still at 1. Why? Book of Moon is so used to string Link format. That card can go to 3 now. Like, Book of Moon is probably the, the balanced card. In the limited list here, like it is a bit limited for such a long time, and it's still at one. Like, come on, Konami, bring the card to three. It's not gonna do anything. Now, next card is Gateway of the Six. Um, this is to promote the older six samurai support that's that we're gonna get in about in about a couple of months or so. So Gateway of the Six is coming back to promote that those products. Do I agree with Gateway of the Six coming back? I don't know. Six Samurais, um, they're not effective back, but Link's kind of like kill the consistency and the explosive plays that they can do. Oh yes, yeah, Six Samurais is still playable, but I don't know how the deck. Is gonna play uh, because of, because 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 of links like links kind of pretty much kill that all the all the single decks that were good back in the day, including six samurai. But six samurai is good, and gay over the six coming back from the list is gonna help with, help with that I guess. But I don't know. We'll we'll see. And kaiju sunburn is limited here, like I said. And Trick King's Return is obvious. Dino Knight is banned, so why not just just limit the car? Because the OCG also had Trick King's Return at one, so they decided to follow suit. In in the OCG, now uh, the cars that are going to two, there are actually a lot of the cars that are going to do to here. And the first card is BLS. OCG has this card at 3, and BLS has not seen much place for like years, so why not put the put, put the car up to 2. And lost the pendulum, damn lost her, damn lost her, yep, pun intended, damn lost her. Uh, Mathematician is back to 2. I mean, they limited this guy um, to our uh, three four minutes ago, and now it's the two again. I mean, who here is gonna see Matt Matician sing play? Like, no decks can really play this guy. I guess um Burning Abyss and Shadow can play this card, but um Burning Abyss is not gonna see much play until they get their Link Monster, and Shadow is Shadows. Like, Shadow is not. Seeing much play at all. Um, Brio and TG Hyper Librarian is is back to two. I mean, Links kind of kill Synchro decks, like I said earlier, so they can they can uh, bring this card up to two or or even to three, and it's not gonna really do anything. Uh, Brain Control with the er Errata is pretty much sucks. Um, Burial Different Dimension is going to two. Um, I guess Zombies can utilize this card. 
Right now, um, L shot up using it to I mean a dolls that not being played, so L shot up present it makes sense why the card is going up to two. Um preparation of rights. Okay, I kinda wanna talk about this card. Um so the I so the obvious reason why preparation of rights is going to start is because um this is for uh Vendress. Because um Vendress they also can use um three copies of uh pre prep pre preparation of rights because um the spell card uh um Vendor Origins it's it's a regional spell card and it it has Vendor's card monster name in its card tag so they can pre prep and then search the spell and the monster which is Vendor's Slayer so pre pre preparation of rights going to do is to obviously pro promote that deck and maybe Necros too because um Prep Prep helps out Necros so much if you guys remember when Pre Prep was um was that three uh pretty much um Popo Popo Necros format back way back in the day um they used um uh, three pre preparation rights but now um the Necros um is it lost pretty much a lot of its power because Shredder's Man and Unicorn is is a one, but pre preparation of rights going to two kind of helps Necros just a bit where it's gonna it's gonna see play. Now to the unlimited section, there are a lot here. Um, debris dragon, it's not being being played at all, so why not bring the card to unlimited? Um, honest, this kind of scares me a lot because Light Swans can really use it. Like this car, uh, because remember way way back in the day when Light Swans were at full power, Honest was at 3, and they pretty much dropped 3 of this car and to swing the mo your monster per game. And also BLS is at 2 guys. That kind of scares me like quite a lot. Like quite a lot. Uh, Rescue Game, Rescue Rabbit? Rescue Cat and Rescue Rabbit is at 3 still, and they are searchable because of the, uh, the spell card or the emergency uh prohibition rescue card the spell card that came out um, um in code of the duelist um it's gonna be a fun format i guess because on um, rescue cat with the irata is kind of fair and rescue rabbit is rescue rabbit and rescue bear is a really really good card guys like rescue bear is really really good so you play three of those cards and three of the spell to search those these three cards out straight from your deck so yeah really really good good fun um i feel like uh rescue can and rescue rabbit going to three is gonna this format is gonna be like really really fun it's not gonna be like cancerous compared to the last format that that we've seen because zodiacs oh my god i'm so tired of zodiacs like i haven't really played the deck for long but every time i played it it's, it's like so helmet and so autopilot like i'm not even I wasn't even playing the deck like this format. Like my friends are using the deck now because, uh, in my own opinion, Zodiac is like really, really boring. It's a good deck, yes, but it's so so boring. Now, um, last three cards that are going to unlimited list is Charge of the Light Brigade, Dragon Ruby. Yes, Dragon Ruby, Dragon Ruby, Dragon Ruby. I have three supers and plus much more that's sitting in my in my closet. Yes, Dragon Ruby. It's been four years, guys. Four years, and now it's finally at three. I am so happy. I never been so happy in this in my entire life ever since I saw the band list. Like, oh, Dragon Ruby, Dragon Ruby needs three Dragon Ruby. I I cannot stress that much enough. Maybe I'll think about Veil uh, to play Dragon Ruby during Link format. I'm not really sure. Ha huh, ha. Huh, huh, how to make the deck level, but I would think of a way because Trinity is my bay. It's my bay. Yep. So yeah, um, once I get the uh Trinity deck profile and how am I gonna make it work during an open I'll put a deck profile up as soon as I can. So um, charge a little up again, going to three. This is obviously the from from a light swords. And nice ones also have to be honest now, and to be honest, if they decided to play the cards. So yeah, and the one card in the unlimited, then I do not really agree. Here is 
three wavering eyes. Now, OCG has three wavering eyes there as well, but in the CCG, having three, three wavering eyes in the CCG is really, really different because you guys remember doing it full power at Paper Man, where they just like wavering eyes, wavering eyes, chain wavering eyes, and just win the game from there. I remember that. So yeah, I do not agree with three wavering eyes at, at all. So if you guys have super wavering eyes, just laying around, they're going for like $10 right now. Uh, I, I'm i gonna tell you, get rid of those three wavering eyes straight away because it's gonna like drop down in price so, so, so quickly. So yeah, um, that's pretty much my reaction, reaction video for the TCG banners for September 2017 format. Do I like it? Kinda do. Do I hate it? I kind of hate it. So yeah, it's like 50-50, so it balances out. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun format, guys. With two BLS, three Charger Light Brigade, and three Honest. Have fun playing against the Ice Ones and getting OTK. Bye, guys. See ya.